Hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information down there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as a native or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. It truly, truly means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Any support you would like to show the channel, as in like, share, subscribe, comments, would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> Aries, what's up with Aries? First half of September already. Can you believe that? Almost done summer. Going into fall. All right. So this is a general collective reading. So I always say if you can fit it into a romantic situation, if it does fit in that way, but I will read it as a general reading. So take it however it resonates for you. All right, what's going on with Aries? All the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditate on off camera. A little more shuffling. Shuffling? Yeah, shuffling. Is that a word? I don't know. A um, <laughs> little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient. So with the Zodiac deck, we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. See how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus here. All right, what do we have? Capricorn. So some of you could have a Capricorn around you, some way, shape, or form. Uh, family member, friend, co-worker, or you could have Capricorn in your chart. Someone you know could have Capricorn heavily in your chart. Capricorn has 10 here, which is about endings, but then that equals one is a new beginning, and then you have one, which is also a new beginning. So I don't know, see what's going on here? The Capricorn in Tarot does represent the devil. So I don't know if you have any sort of toxic uh, situation around you at this point in time. I don't know. We will see with the Tarot and with the more Oracle cards, what's going on for you? What kind of energy for some Aries here? First half of September. Let's get an overall energy for you. What is going on with Aries? First half of September, please, Spirit. Can we get one card for Aries? What's going on with Aries? Thank you. Iceberg submerged. Okay. So, Iceberg. Let me just read a tiny, tiny bit there. Uh, did you do... Let's see. So... I don't want to read the whole thing here. Whatever you suppress or deny and attempt to keep out of conscious awareness will show up somewhere and somehow. These are your shadow aspects. At one time, you put them out of your consciousness for good reason, yet they remain contained by, by shame and guilt. Sometimes these submerged aspects of yourself are projected onto others so that they mirror those denied or suppressed parts of you and you may even harshly judge these characteristics when they are exhibited now is the time to allow these elements to surface and embrace them these may make up some sort of self-expression a secret dream you wish to accomplish or even uglier aspects that are difficult to acknowledge or accept whatever you have submerged deep inside of you this is your opportunity to pay attention to those things and welcome them to the family called you so this is about you know I also get with iceberg here if there's something that's been like frozen in time and a standstill I also get that energy too but this is also things that you submerged way down deep inside you could be some toxic behavior or toxic situations stemming from childhood um, whatever here it's like you buried it deep inside you you submerged it deep inside you and chose not to heal it or um, move on from it or deal with it so it's just kind of frozen in time it's submerged deep into your subconsciousness 
that's getting pretty deep there. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, icebergs do run pretty deep. So, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. What's on the bottom of the deck for you, Aries? Crystals. So, we have focus. So, so I think now is the time to focus your attention to, and crystals are all about healing energy. Um, I don't know if you need to get into crystals, learn about how they can help you heal, how they can really help you in your journey. But I think really now is the time, you know, crystals also run deep into caves. If you go into caves and you see all those formations <clears throat> also, so that is also about deep things within you. So really now needing to focus on healing those deep submerged aspects that you've been hiding away or choosing not to heal or deal with. And it could be some toxic energy here, some way, shape or form. Could even be toxic family members that you've kind of like put on a, you know, that you're kind of like put a freeze on and you haven't been dealing with and you kind of like push them and you've been cold towards them for a very long time. You know, could be about healing those uh, energies also or healing from whatever occurred um, between them and you, just to heal the energy within you. If the you know relationship or connections can't be healed, then it's just to, he to heal that energy within you that you've kept hidden and submerged inside you. Wow, okay, Aries, what's going on with you? Wow. Okay, this card wanted to come out. So definitely here with the Six of Swords energy. So this is leaving all that garbage behind that you've left submerged and frozen in time. Moving on from it. Healing it. Leaving it, healing it, but leaving it in the past here. And just moving on and moving forward into a more comfortable, peaceful, healed place here with the Six of Swords. And taking that, those swords there to cut away all the garbage not serving you and leaving all that baggage behind you. So, you know, dealing with it, healing it, but then cutting it away, cutting those cords, cutting those ties, cutting that toxic energy and leaving it and healing it behind you and focusing your attention on that right now. Wow, Aries. Deep messages for you, Aries, this month first half of September anyway. So let's see what other energy is around you. So we have the Emperor and we have the Three of Cups. So, you know, the Emperor here is Aries. That's your energy. So this is taking control, taking charge, you know, taking control of your life, your feelings, your emotions, taking control and dealing with this energy that you need to move away from and just deal and heal with and just leaving it behind you taking control instead of trying to control it and leaving it deep down inside you and not dealing with it I think now is the time to start dealing with all that toxic crap so you can leave it behind you for good and go and travel into a more peaceful healed balanced place moving forward in your life wow and then we have the three of cups so this is you know rejoicing reuniting coming back together being joyous and happy um, celebrating. This is like my socializing card. So you may overcome these difficulties and realize now I can be happy. I can now, you know, celebrate and have good times without feeling this toxic negative energy all the time. Now I'm standing in my power. I know my worth and value. You, em this is embodying all the kings of the deck being the father of the deck, being honest, open, truth, truthful, uh, passionate and fiery, stable and grounded, you know, loving and compassionate. Wow. So let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the ace of wands. We have the three of wands. Wow. It's all fire energy here in the nine of swords. So Fire, fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, and now we have air here with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is just energy. So new beginning here, starting over, starting fresh, going in this new direction, 
being very passionate and fiery moving forward um, and leaving all that toxic negative energy behind you so it's a period of waiting here I think um, you know waiting for the ship to come in to get on board and travel in this new direction but it's a period of waiting is right in the middle of your spread so I feel like you're, you're not going to be able to fully move on in this new direction until you take control and heal all this past crap and focus really focus your attention on that so you can get out of this devil energy and go into a more heal heal balanced place because I think whatever this toxic energy is now has you in the nine of swords energy feeling very stressed anxious nervous worry fear um, maybe sleepless nights that could be even giving you nightmares um, but you're not going to be a full be able to fully move on in life with all your fiery passionate energy until you really deal with all that this negative energy that's been hold you've been holding within you wow so let's see what your advice is moving forward Aries some advice for you moving forward so we have the hangman and we have the palace of swords wow now this deck has four palace cards in it has a palace of swords wands cups and pentacles so it's very rare they even come out here and you have one so far so the hangman is cancer pisces so this is you know hanging back reflecting uh thinking contemplating um taking a break putting things on pause while you look at things from a new perspective so this is, could be while you're dealing with your stuff and healing putting everything on your life on pause you could even be taking a mental break from work from life in general just going on a retreat going off on your own hanging back dealing healing contemplating thinking seeing things in a new way a new light really pausing and taking that break and this is the palace of swords so by doing that now you'll be living your life in a place of truth and clarity and cutting away all energy that's no longer serving you and just leaving it behind you is with the six of swords energy and standing up for yourself standing up for what you believe in not taking any more BS or crap not having that negative energy within you anymore that toxic energy you kept submerged here and hidden away it was still peeking through here that space there but now it's deep healing with crystals deep deep healing time as you pause and reflect and take a break and before you can really move on in life with full force and being in this palace of swords living in your true true authenticity and your true self and having that clarity wow all right so let's see what your outcome will be now uh aries so we have the eight of swords so again this is this is being mentally blocked this is um that air energy of being mentally trapped and blocked up in your head i mean it's just a bubble you can break it and release it at any time so you can break free of this eight of swords energy of being mentally trapped trapped and blocked from fear anxiety of pushing all this crap toxic crap deep down inside you and not healing and dealing with it you can burst that bubble and break free of that at any time here and live in this place of truth and clarity and freedom of toxic energy all right so let's get more clarifiers for you now so we have the hermit again virgo energy so again with pisces of taking a pause and a break and just chilling but also doing this inner journey work doing your healing you're thinking you're contemplating finding your way your light so really taking that inner journey here with the hermit the fool so right so after you heal think contemplate deal now you could start over start fresh starting with a clean slate starting over with zero starting and resetting yourself jumping right in back into life again 
having faith and hope and optimism, everything will be fine, everything will be okay. I reset myself at zero. All my negative crap is gone. I've healed. I've done my inner work here. I dealt and now I can deal. I've dealt and I can deal moving forward with um, the full energy, which is Aquarius energy. All right, let's see what else here. So we have the King of Coins. So nice, though. So this is being, you know, you've had the Emperor and now you've got the King of Coins. So being stable, sturdy, and grounded, knowing your value and your worth. You know what you're worth. You know what your value is. You're worth more than carry around, carrying around this toxic crap that is no longer serving you. So now you're very stable, sturdy, and grounded. Wow, okay. Knight of Cups. So now you're able to move forward, living your life, being more loving and compassionate with those around you and no longer feeling in that negative energy where you might have been bringing others down because of your negative aura or energy you had around you. Now people are like, wow, you know, it's like a changed person. They see you as more loving and compassionate, caring and giving now. You know, actions, you know, hugging people you, you never hugged before, telling them you love them, you know, jumping in and helping people, being that compassionate energy. Wow. And also taking that action of self-worth and self-love of he healing yourself. Wow, Aries. Four of Wands. So there you go. Stable, sturdy, grounded. Uh, your home, your basis, your foundation. If you're married or in, in a commitment or, you know, just being very, very secure and stable in your home life now. Maybe being able now to commit to somebody you've wanted to commit to, but you couldn't because all this negative energy was holding you back. Now you can commit to things that you couldn't commit to before because you are strong, stable, and grounded, loving, compassionate now, and a whole new energy. You broke this bubble. You can break this bubble and get rid of it and have all these things you've wanted to commit to and being very stable. Ten, there you go, 10 of coins, happy home and family, wealth, abundance. Now you can move forward in life and you will have growth, abundance, prosperity, happy home and family life. You may be married now, be able to get married, have children, have grandchildren, leaving a legacy for all your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Wow, 10 of coins, stability, growth, abundance, happy home and family, victory, success, monetary success. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The two of coins. So, you know, juggling and balancing things around. This could be, you know, just juggling around all this energy, you know, that you've been carrying, burdens you've been carrying with you, this toxic energy, but wanting to really balance out your energy here. Maybe that combined with your work, your family, whatever here, just really, really trying to juggle and balance everything. Now making that conscious choice to do what's best for you. You know, now you can commit to your lover. Now you can commit to your work. Now you can commit to being a better person. You can commit to following your faith, your spirituality. This is Gemini energy. Um, being more authentic and true to who you are without all this negative energy around you or inside of you. And now you have 10 of coins, 10 of cups, happy home and family, fulfillment in every single way, happiness, joy, love, fulfillment in every possible way. Giving love, being loved, children, pets, everything. Nine of coins. So some of you may, you know, be in a committed relationship or some of you may be single and just more stable, sturdy and grounded on your own. So it could be a separate message for some who are ready to commit to a relationship now that they free themselves of all this toxic energy from the past or some now are more sta sturdy, stable and grounded on their own. The Knight of Pentacles energy, being self-sufficient, taking care of yourself. 
And this is the truth of the matter. He has the Ace of Swords. This always is the truth and clarity in a reading. This is the divine saying. This is truth, clarity, um, sword of victory. So swords are all about open, honest, clear-cut communication, truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, standing up for yourself, standing up for those around you. So, yep. Yeah. So some of you will be very secure and stable now in all your relationships, including commitments and marriages, or some of you will be um, very self-sufficient and independent and stable on your own. So however this reads for you, um, whatever your situation is, but I definitely feel here clearing and healing all toxic things of the past will be able will enable you to live your most authentic life moving forward. You'll have like a whole rebirth of yourself. All right. It's a different kind of message. I don't think I've ever really gotten this type of message before. All right. So this is the moon oracle for you, Aries. Let's see, Aries. Let's get some advice, guidance for you, Aries. The first half of July. Advice and guidance for Aries. July. Why did I say July? Oh my God. Where did that come from? Wow. Maybe some of you have started this healing process uh, last month. I don't know. Okay. So. What do we have for Capricorn? Advice and guidance for Capricorn Spirit, please. For the first half of September. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right. Let's stop there. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, so I have felt maybe some of you had, have started dealing and healing uh, in this process already. And now you're almost at the end of your healing process here with conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So you're almost at full healing and full release here. Wow. All right, what else? What else do we have for Aries? First half of September. First half of September. All right. Okay, so we have new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Wow, okay, the end of a type cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. And I kept getting spirit telling me, you will have a Capricorn card flip out here, and here it is. So, and that confirms here, Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle for you. Completing your healing here, and now you can commit to things here. New romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So we got Libra coming up. In September the end of September into October and full moon in Capricorn is you know at the end of um, December so I mean I know how that work plays out for you um, but it could just be the message of this tough cycle for you is coming to an end and the conclusion is within reach and now a new romantic cycle can begin it also can be new beginnings for you in any way, just in life in general, or now being able to fully commit to somebody because nothing is holding you back now. Wow. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So, in Taurus, you know, it's the beginning of the year here, but we have full moon again full moon full moon full moon and then a new moon so you're at the end here almost at the end of completing this tough cycle doing your inner journey work of healing now and ready to start brand new in life in love in all ways and having a practical plan you know you knew what you needed to do you've got you sought out the help you needed you've done your healing journey work and now you're taking a slow practical approach as with the king of coins, a very slow, growing, practical energy and moving forward in all your dreams here. 
Let's see what's, I'm curious what's under that. No. Okay, so, yep. Wow, Aries, major, major, for some of you, for some of you, major healing and transformation here. And ridding yourself of these deep submerged toxic energies that were holding you down. Deep, deep healing now. Almost at the end of this tough cycle. And now you can start brand new, start fresh in all ways, including love. Being very stable. Wow, Aries, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Um, if you subscribe, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I think there's three options when you hit the bell. So if you hit all, I think it's the first option, you'll be notified of when I post all new readings. Uh, you will get other signs readings, but you can just, just disregard that. If you don't like all those notifications, I ask that you please don't unsubscribe. Just uncheck the bell. And when you want to check to see if I've posted new readings, you'll have to go in and click into your subscriptions over onto the uh, left. And you'll see uh, all the people you subscribe to, all their new posts. So you can do it that way. I think I have a lot of people unsubscribing because they don't like all the notifications for all the signs. So instead of just unchecking that bell, they unsubscribe, which doesn't make sense to me. But um, Anyway, I would appreciate that. If you do like my style and how I read you, please do subscribe and hit the bell. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. So um, good luck to you here in your journey. And if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Something there may resonate for you. And I'd say disregard the dates. If you find a title that you resonate with, watch it. There's probably a message in there for you. I do consider them all timeless. So good luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love, blessings, and healing energy for you, please. Aries. I don't know why I said please, but please heal. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and uh, good luck to you. And I hope to see you next time. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.